May 5th, 1943. Renee's state of health is good. She is eating and speaking. Her spatial and temporal orientation is good. Therapy suspended. December 3rd. She calmly asks if she can leave the hospital. Evaluate patient for six months. May 2nd, 1944. Discharge denied, despite a favorable psychiatric opinion. The patient has no home or means of support. May 4th. The reasons why discharge is impossible are explained, and this is how Renee learns of her mother's death two years after the fact. May 5th. She tried to kill herself in the night by hanging herself with a sheet, saved by the nurses. Restrained to her bed, she once more tried to kill herself by suffocation. The decision has been taken to perform a transorbital lobotomy. Tenth of June, 1944. Operation successful. Patient tranquil and collaborative. 
Motor coordination capacity reduced, but she's improving. Transfer to the tranquil department in the care of Dr. B. 25th of October. Continues to talk about Amara and her doll, Charlotte. The disturbances of motor capacity show slight signs of improvement. Difficulty walking, not capable of riding, and the nurses report that they have to help her dress, wash, and feed herself. In the summer of 1944, Renee was transferred back into my department. Aware of little, indifferent, hardly ever spoke. One day, she said, when I find the courage to look at myself in the mirror, I see a young face which is aged and looks at me full of fear. She is a woman now who has changed profoundly compared to the girl that I had under my care several years ago. Only the sadness of her gaze and her intelligence are unchanged. She's so young, just 23 years old, but is lacking all vitality. Perhaps her condition may improve, but probably not. Her life has been thrown away. And nobody did a thing to try to avoid this. Growing soon.